Hey cat cameras, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Double Patel and I'm the founder of the Facebook group Keep Cat Cammy. I teach workshops on CEREC and its different disciplines. Now, if you're a CEREC user or for that matter, if you use any other chair side cat cam system, we all know that it's very easy to fabricate inlays, onlays, and partial coverage restorations with CEREC or any other CAD CAM system. The reason is the super gingival margins, which aid in scanning, uh, margination, and fabrication of those restorations. However, as practicing dentists, we all know that we deal with a lot of difficult cases on a day-to-day -day basis. In this video, I want to discuss how I do my post and core on compromised teeth, how I use Teflon for isolation and managing deep margins. So if that is something that you'd like, keep watching. By the way, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on any of the platforms I'm on. I'll see you on the other side of the video. Keep cat coming. So as you can see, this is how the patient presented after the root canal was completed by the endodontist. The buccal cusp was completely fractured. There is a DO older restoration in there. And after the root canal was completed, the endodontist plugged some temporary cement around that buccal cusp. So the first thing I do is I pack Teflon around the deepest areas of the margins. This is to ensure that I maintain isolation. I don't want any crevicular fluids or blood getting into my pulp chamber once I start excavating all the old restorative materials and the temporary filling that the endodontist had placed in the pulp chamber. The next step is to continue removing the old restorative material along with the temporary filling until you reach solid dentin. Uh, ensure that all decay is clean, all the old restorative material is completely cleaned out before you start uh, your buildup process and that is very, very important. The next step was to access the pulp chamber by removing the root canal sealer. Uh, I did clean up some more weak tooth structure just to ensure that the area was completely decay free. Next step is to create the post space with uh, whichever system you're using. Ensure that you have a post that you select is of the same size of the canal. Uh, make sure you go deep enough into the canal to be able to retain your buildup and uh, choose the right post uh, depending on the situation. After the right post size has been selected, we start the process of creating the buildup. And the first step in that process is to do a total etch of all the surfaces. As you can see, I am etching all the surfaces, including the pulp chamber here. Once all the surfaces are etched, you will go ahead and wash out the etch and uh, dry it completely. Uh, we start by just air drying all the surfaces uh, and make sure that you have uh, a very, very clean surface. Once all the surfaces are air dried, again, ensure at this time, all the isolation is being maintained. There is no bleeding in the area. There is no cravicular fluids uh, kind of trying to come out of the sulcus. And then uh, use some paper points to dry the canal and make sure that uh, the canals are completely dry before you start the bonding process uh, for the post and the buildup. So in this case, here you can see I'm using some paper points. You may need to do this a couple times just to ensure that the, the canal is completely moisture free. Now, before I start the bonding process, I'm doing one final check for the fit of the fiber post. As you can see, I'm using this particular fiber post in this uh, case right now. I'm ensuring that it is going to be tall enough. I'm ensuring that it has a nice passive fit. Uh, I'm making sure that it goes deep enough into the post space that I have created for this particular post. Once that is done, you will go ahead and uh, do your bonding process and use the buildup of your choice and uh, put the post into the post space and do your buildup. 
and just go ahead and stack the build up on uh, one tip I tell you is over build don't be skimpy on the build up material try and over build as much as possible because then you can prepare an ideal crown and you are not hampered by the lack of build up material after the build up material is placed go ahead and prep uh, for the kind of material that you want to choose in this case I'm prepping for a zirconia crown if you haven't watched my video on how to prep for a zirconia crown I will post the link in the comments and you will see what burrs I use what order I use those burrs um, in uh, just to get some very nice and precise margins here you can see all the margins have been prepped uh, I try to keep my uh, preparation as conservative as possible because we don't have a lot of tooth structure here. And once the preparation has been done, I leave the Teflon in there. And as you can see, I'm scanning with the Prime Scan right now. Uh, there is no bleeding whatsoever. And the Teflon, in fact, acts as a separation between the tissue and the tooth. And it'll also help in margination. So I hope this video was helpful in how to create a post and core along with build up material for compromised cases. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and um, yeah, keep cat camming.